And if we're talking about peptides, we have to penetrate that membrane, right? Yeah, the for first level of the dermis. As well. yeah, yeah. And then I think, you know, we, there are things like hormones in patches and they can work, right? We have estradiol patches for women. They're also really annoying. A lot of the yeah, things are. that are on there are irritants to the skin. So, you know, I think delivery is, it's subtle over time. So for that to really work, you have to wear it a long time. I have so many women who like tell me like, I don't, I don't like stickers. I don't like creams, you know, they're messy, especially yeah. testosterone stuff. So in terms of what do we know for availability we don't have exact data i love to say like 77 percent versus you know 65 percent versus 89 percent but we don't have right. numbers and even the you know the creams or the gels are actually going to depend based off off of what's in that base and then the other thing that's really interesting is our skin barrier changes as we yeah. age this is a really interesting thing so it really depends on the individual and there was some i i worked on a project with a company doing this with hormones and we actually did pilot data and we looked at absorption and it was very across the board so that's another thing i think it's not as standardized when we're looking at creams and gels 